Mr. Speaker, yesterday I had the honour to represent my home community at Corporal Nathan Cirillo's funeral. What a sight to see thousands of neighbours and fellow Canadians lining every road and street in Hamilton. Some cheering, some visibly moved, others singing O Canada. But all standing in solidarity with Corporal Nathan Cirillo and his family and his home regiment, the Argyle and Sutherland Highlanders. In times of national tragedy, a country has a choice to shutter its windows and close itself off to the world. But after yesterday, I can say with absolute confidence that my hometown of Hamilton and our great country of Canada have chosen another path. Canada has come together stronger than ever to stand behind Corporal Nathan Cirillo and Warrant Officer Patrice Vincent. Our society, our democracy mourns their loss and we're stronger and all the more confident because of their sacrifice. God bless the families of Nathan Cirillo and Patrice Vincent, and God bless Canada. Here, God bless.